So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for download MySQL. And the first link which will appear here will be from mysql.com forward slash downloads. So just click on this link. And once you are on this uh, web page, you will be able to see this kind of uh, interface. If you uh, directly come to uh, mysql.com website, you can see this downloads tab here. So you can click on the downloads tab and then you will come to this downloads page. So on this downloads web page, you need to scroll down and go to the location where it says MySQL Community GPL Downloads. So I'm going to click on uh, this link which says MySQL Community GPL Downloads which is free to use. And once you are on this uh, MySQL Community Downloads page, you will be able to see all these tools which you can download, right? So here you have MySQL Community Server, MySQL Cluster, MySQL Router, MySQL Shell, MySQL Workbench. So all these tools are available. So what we want to download here is we want to download this community server for MySQL. So we are going to click on this link which says MySQL Community Server. Once you click on this link, you will be redirected to this web page. So from here, uh, you can choose the Microsoft Windows option. And then when you scroll down, you will be able to see the zip uh, versions which you can download for Windows. But we are interested in the MySQL installer MSI file, which is this one. And you can see in front of Windows MySQL installer MSI, it says go to a download page. So I'm going to click on this button, which says go to download page. And once you uh, reach to this uh, download page for the MSI files, what we want to do is we want to download the full installer for MySQL, which is this one, right? So we don't want to install the web community uh, based version. We will install the full version, which is bigger in size, but it's going to come with all the tools. So just choose the second version whose size is around 435 megabyte. I'm going to click on the download button here, which is going to redirect me to this web page. Now on this web page, you will be asked to uh, create a free MySQL account. But if you don't want to create any account, you can click on this uh, link, which says no thanks, just start my download. So I'm going to click on this link, which is going to start the download of this MySQL installer MSI file. So at this point, I just need to wait for some time until this uh, MSI file is downloaded. So once this MSI file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this MSI file. Let me minimize the browser also. And you can see it's starting the installer. At this point, you just need to wait for a few seconds. And now I can see that this installer has been started. And on this first window, you will be asked to provide the setup type. So there are few setup types which are available. First one is developer, which is default. Second is server only, which installs only the MySQL server. Third one is client only, which installs only the MySQL client without the server. Uh, the fourth one is the full version, which installs uh, all the MySQL products and features. And the last one is the custom version, which will allow you to manually select the product which should be installed, right? On the right hand side, you can see the list of all the products which will be installed when you select uh, some option. We are going to choose the first option, which is the developer default, which comes with MySQL server, MySQL shell, router, workbench, and few other tools for uh, uh, Visual Studio and a few connectors for different languages. Also, it comes with the examples and tutorials. So just select the default uh, type, which is developer, and then click on next. So on the next window, you can see check requirements window, which says the following products have failing requirements. MySQL installer will attempt to resolve them automatically. Requirement mark as manual cannot be resolved automatically. So if you want to use these tools, for example, MySQL for Visual Studio or 
uh, connector for Python, then you need to fulfill these two uh, uh, requirements, right? But in our case, we just want to use MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench to learn and to feel how MySQL works, right? So for uh, the beginners, these requirements will uh, not be required. But uh, later, if you need them, you can always uh, install Python or Visual Studio on your Windows 11 operating system. So I don't want to uh, use for now the connector or Visual Studio for MySQL. So I'm going to just click on next here. And then it says one or more product requirement has not been uh, satisfied. It's okay for me. So I'm going to click on yes here. And then you will see the list of all the uh, products which will be installed, right? So if you are ready, just click on execute, which is going to start installing each and every product which is listed here. And once that product is installed, you will be able to see the check mark in front of it. And also you will be able to see the progress uh, of the installation. So you can see this check mark is added. So I'm going to wait for this check mark to appear in front of each and every tool here. So now I can see green check mark in front of each and every tool. That means everything is uh, installed. So I can click on the next button. So on this next page, you will be able to see the product configuration page. You just need to click on next on this. And here you can see type and networking. So just leave everything as default here. So the config type is uh, development computer and the TCP IP port is 3306, which is the default port and then open Windows firewall port for network access. So I'm going to leave everything as default and then click on next. And here authentication method, use storage password encryption for authentication, which is recommended. I'm going to choose the recommended option here, which is the first option, which is use strong encryption password for authentication and then click on next. Now on the next window, we need to choose the password for different roles, right? So root account password, we need to give here. So I'm going to choose a very simple password, which I can remember. And you might want to choose stronger password. But for now, I just want to use a simple password for this demonstration. And then once you are done with uh, the root password, you can also create different users for your MySQL database. For example, I can just click on this add user button and then add a user, for example, code bind in my case, you can name it anything you want, right? Now the host name will be all hosts, role will be DB admin. You can uh, also see different roles here. So you can assign different roles to the users. I'm going to leave it as default. And then you can choose the password for that user. I'm going to choose once again a very simple password, but you might want to choose a strong password here. Click on OK and then click on Next. And at this point, Windows Services, I'm going to leave everything as default and then click on Next. And then I'm going to click on Execute, which is going to apply all the configurations here. And once that's done, you can see all the configurations are successfully applied. At this point, I can just click on finish and then click on next here. And you will be able to see uh, this window where it says MySQL router configuration. So on this uh, window, you can see MySQL router configuration, bootstrap MySQL router for use with InnoDB cluster. I don't want to use it for now. So I'm going to just click on finish and then click on next. And then here you can see the username and then I can provide the password here and then click on check. And you can see connection is successful with the MySQL server. So this is the password which I have set previously, right? So you need to provide that password here and you can check it. Once that's done, click on next and then click on execute. And once you see uh, that this process is completed successfully, you can click on finish. And then once again, click on next here. So on this window, you can see installation complete. The installation uh, procedure has been completed. So you can click on this uh, button to copy the logs to the clipboard. And when you leave these checkboxes as checked, they are going to start the 
MySQL Workbench after the setup and MySQL Shell after the setup. So I'm going to just click on finish, which is going to launch MySQL Workbench and MySQL Shell. So you can see MySQL Workbench has been started and MySQL Shell has been started. If you uh, close these uh, tools, you can always open these tools by clicking on the Windows Start icon and then click on All Apps here and then just uh, scroll down a little where you will find MySQL and from here you can open MySQL Workbench, MySQL Shell and the other utilities from here, right? So as you can see, the MySQL Shell has been started. So here I can give a few commands, for example, backslash help and then press enter which is going to show me uh, what are uh, the commands which I can use most important one is connect and disconnect I can exit by using this uh, option and you can see quit uh, python show so there are different commands here right so for example when I type backslash connect here and then press enter it's going to show me how can I use this connect command right so these are the arguments which I can provide for the connect command and then I can provide the URI, right? So let's try this. So I'm going to just uh, type connect space root, which is my username at the rate local host, which is the host on which MySQL is running and then the default port, which is 3306. So this 3306 uh, is the default port of MySQL. Then press enter and you can see creating a session to uh, this URI and it requires the password. So this password you need to provide which you have set at the time of installation, right? So you need to remember that password. So I'm going to provide that password and then press enter. And then you can see it's asking me to save the password. I will just type uh, Y here and then press enter, which is going to save my password. So now I am uh, connected to localhost 3306 or I just want to use the show uh, command so I can just type show and it shows me available reports query threads and thread I can just write backslash use and the name of my database my uh, DB for example and then press enter and if this database is present then it's going to uh, use that database so this is how you can work with this uh, MySQL shell. You can also use MySQL Workbench as I have mentioned, right? So you can click on uh, local instance, uh, this one, or you can click on this database option and then click on connect to database. And from here, you can choose the host name, port name, and then the username from here. And then you can click on store in vault and then I'm going to just give the password for my root user which I have set at the time of installation and then click on OK. And then click on OK here which is going to connect to my uh, MySQL server and you will be able to see uh, this kind of interface here. So here you can uh, see the schemas here. There are three schemas available. Uh, Sakila, Sys and World. So here if I have written instead of my DB I can uh, just write use world which is the default uh, database which comes with the installation. You can see default schema set to world right. So this is how I can use the shell. If I want to uh, just see the tables inside this world database I can click on this expand icon here and then see all the tables here and then I can also click on the table here and see all the columns right so I can right click here and then select uh, rows which is going to select uh, the top 100 rows and show you the result you can see the table result is shown here query is shown here so from the next time you can work with your queries and see the result here and you can see the output also here, right? So this is how you can download and install and use MySQL database on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.